does the world sit on top of a giant tortoise, using Islamic stories to solve this mystery. John Locke, philosopher, 1632–1704 An Indian ascetic On what do you think the earth rests? On an elephant And what is under it? A tortoise. And what is under that? I don't know. A Jewish high priest. I can tell you. One place where ancient Jewish myths can be found is within Islam, and some early Muslims said that. The earth rests on. A whale. In water. On a bull. On a rock. On dust. But only Allah knows what is under the dust. In the myth the bull is called Behemoth. And the whale's name is related to Leviathan. In the previous video, the behemoth was linked to the twelve oxen under the bronze basin. The leviathan was linked to a seven-headed serpent fountain. Jewish tradition also states that the bronze basin represented the world. The Psalms say that the earth was placed above the waters, maybe the basin had a lid. By tradition, there was a foundation stone which stops the waters from overflowing. Therefore the whole basin unit could have been placed on a plinth. The dust would have been normal dust on the floor. So therefore, what is under the dust, if not the temple courtyard? For the Hindu myth, note that the same word in Sanskrit means both elephant and serpent. Presumably the elephant's trunk was taken to resemble a serpent. Not only can a tortoise look like a stone, 
but also altars were likened to tortoises. This means that it is just the usual flora under the world tortoise. Certain scientific problems in the Quran can be easily explained with this symbolism. The whale became agitated and the earth quaked. Therefore the Quran says that Allah cast firm anchors, interpreted as mountains, in the earth lest it should shake with you. The anchors stopping the earth shaking would simply be supporting pillars. This is why the Quran also describes the mountains as pegs. Thank you for watching. Explanations, picture sources, and acknowledgements can be found at www.rwtheology.org slash creation stories html or www.facebook.com slash Richard Worthington Theology.